happening now. Okorocha in more trouble. <laughs> As hope gets on with the court. Court orders in Terry for future of Okorocha properties in Imo State. So that's the immediate past governor just before Roja Chukorucha. We all know that Emeka did not really live to see the light of the day in terms of him being the governor of Imo State for that very long. And um, we all have been know, we've been keeping you informed of what has been going on with regards to Rojach and the uh, whole president Ma. Yeah, whole president Ma has told Rojach, I am a, I am looking at you and I'm going to deal with you. And it's not just a statement of threat. As a matter of fact, he has gone above and beyond, sin sealing his property. As if that is not enough, has also gone ahead. The daughter's uh, radio station, uh, you know, said that the property where yeah, the radio station is, is on a, an, an access road. I mean, a lot has been going on to be very candid. And right now, what we are seeing is that um, he has gone to the court and the court has asked Roja Shukorucha, forget about your property uh, until further notice. So let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you ever so much. God bless you. Just in, court orders in Terry for future of Roja Shukorucha's property in Imo State. Barely four days after the incident that saw Roja Shukorocha go to the police station, instigated by the present governor of the state, Hope Zedema, the Imo State Police Command arrest and released the senator representing Imo West constituency for the breaking into a government sealed Royal Palm Spring estate. High Court in Oweri on Thursday, ordered the interim for future of all properties allegedly owned illegally by Roger Shokorocha while he was in office. For the period of eight years, any single property he owned or acquired all through that period should be fulfilled. Justice Fred Enamazi gave the order following the application brought in by Louis Azuz senior advocate of Nigeria on behalf of the state government. The property to be forfeit, forfeited are Eastern Pan University, Royal Spring Palm Hotel, apartment and apartment, IBC staff quarters, said to have been legally acquired for the purpose of Roger Shofurusha Foundation College, Oweri Magistrate Quarters, Olu Road Cooperative Office, Guest Guide Allegedly Converted to Private Use Housing Market Square, Kinoman A3, Public Building Plot B-2, South Extension Layout Given to the Minister of Minist Ministry of Women Affairs for Establishing a Skill Acquisition Center for Women, Allegedly Acquired by for the Benefit of Unloma Roger Shokorocha daughter plot five plot P five was the residential layout initially partly owned by primary school arrangement board but now as is to all staff of Aba Road belonging to Nke Chuku Okorocha and all the property contained from page. 226 to page 272 of the government white paper on the recommendation of the judiciary comment or commissioned to inquire into land admissions in Imo State from June 2006 to May 2019. However, addressing the following moment after he was released, Okorocha said that the Imo State Governor Hope should be cautious, noting that Ozedema will not live to fight the war he is proposing. So my people, this is the fight going on currently between the Imo state, the, pre the predecessor and the current governor. You see, it's a good fight Hope is fighting and I hope that he remembers that when he has left office, the same stroke that was used for the second wife is behind the door, will be used for him with the governor or whoever will come into position to become the governor of the state. We have to deal with him sequely and squarely and check 
to make sure that indeed the T's he said he crossed, we are crossed, the I's he said he dotted, we are dotted. Because what is good for the goose is good for the gangas. You know, it's okay. Probe your, your predecessor. It's a good thing. You know, that will bring a, a, a proper check to co today's uh, government and what we have and uh, the way things are being done and how people go about without paying attention. Just do things anyhow. This will bring a proper, you know, system in such that Nigerians will begin to pay attention. If you are the president, you pay attention. You do things well because the next person that will come in will not forgive you. We make sure that you actually pay for every mismanagement in office. If you are a governor, the same applies to you. What about? a local government chairman you're the person that will come after you remember you will not be there forever we'll be able to assess and ascertain all the money that was that came into that ministry into that local government area all the receipts because they have to be proper documentation of what you said you bought you did everything has to be shown the i's have to be dotted the t's have to be crossed and that's how we can begin to pay attention and begin to pay what we call, you know, proper, you know, uh, 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 you know, check such that we have a system that, I mean, it's a system of audits. Eh? Gradually, you know, change is painful. When it starts, it's as though, oh, this person is roughly feathers. And, uh, I mean, it's a good thing. He doesn't know what he has started. Though. Oh, yes, he has started. He has implemented a good thing in place. He has started something and it's good. Everybody's seen it. Everybody's, you know, you, you know, people are saying, ah, it's not fair the way you are treating Roger Shokorocha. But come to think of it, was Roger Shokorocha a very good governor? What did he really do for Imo State? How did he really help the people? What, how did he go about to ensure that Imo State was developed? Did he enrich himself or enrich the state and the people? Did he create jobs? Did he do things that will ensure and, and you know, put Imo State in a better light? When this same hope went to the very constituency where he's representing as a senator, what did he say? What did he do? How did he go about to ensure that the safety of the people who were in their homes and all of a sudden a governor said he has sent a Nigerian army on them? What did he do to ensure that these things were done decently and in order? So, I mean, it's a good thing he has started, but just to let you know, what goes around, come around is a songwriter's song. He said, what goes around, it always come around. It's the same. It doesn't go far. It, like, like well, we all know, the apple doesn't fall, fall very far from the tree. It's around the vicinity. It's not very far. So it's a good thing he has implemented. It's a good thing he has started. We are waiting until he leaves office. Count, like it or not, countdown has begun. From the day you are sworn in, your countdown has started already. So, I mean, it is what it is. Roger Shukorocha should go and verify and prove that it was his pay that got him this property and get them, you know, a, a discharged and acquainted out of the court system. And then he can begin to face uh, hope. Guys, leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.